morning, Dr. Aguilar, Board of Trustees, special guests, and Fremont Warriors. I am truly honored to welcome all of you to Stan Byers Recognition Ceremony. Today is a special day in Warrior history, a day that will forever be ingrained in our hearts. We are here to recognize an esteemed teacher, mentor, and coach, Mr. Stan Byer. To begin today's ceremony and lead us in the flag salute, I would like to introduce and welcome Student Council President Alejandra Fernandez. Father, why don't you call me Stan? 
and I never forget to this day. I always call him Mr. Byer. Because Mr. Byer was really a distinguished and honorable teacher, one of the best. He had a great impact in all of us here. Children, remember their name, Stan Byer. He was a lesson here. He was, really was a lesson here. He did so many things that normally a teacher really doesn't engage in those kinds of things. They're in the classroom, working with your students, trying to teach you the best education public. But he went beyond that. He went out in the community. He went out in our lives. He impacted our lives. I can tell you that time doesn't allow a lot of stories that happen to me personally, but I know that many of you here, my friends, that we went to school here, friends and also colleagues, we were in this class, formal students, and many of us really also coach us in various sports. As you can see that I'm 6'5 and 250 pounds. <laughs> but there was no difference for him. He wanted every student to be successful in the classroom. He was an outstanding teacher, but also a specialist in mathematics. I took math from him, like many of us here. I did not stay in this class my years here. I always had Mrs. King, but he was a math teacher all of us because we used to exchange classes. Mrs. King would teach English and he would teach the math. So a lot of us remember those years. There's a lot of you here this morning that were in those classes also with Mr. Fire and Mrs. King. But get back to Mr. Fire. He was one that really went beyond the call of duty what he said. He gave us advice. He gave us discipline. He made us focus on what education was all about. That's what your teachers are doing to you. That's what you should, should think about. He taught us to be disciplined. He says, that's the way, if you have discipline, you're gonna do your homework and you do well. So I just wanna relate that message to you. But there are other things that I wanna say about Mr. Byer. Mr. Byer uh, came here from the state of Minnesota. Came in 1946. Uh, he first went to Fresno State, uh, completed his credential, and then he started teaching at Freeman. And Freeman was his school. There was no question. There are stories that said that he was going to be transferred to another school, and he would not do that. He wanted to be at Freeman. He wanted to be a warrior, a Freeman warrior. Are all of you warriors? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you warriors? Yes. Yeah. He was that kind of person that he wanted to be here with us. He wanted to be here with many schools like yourself. Of course, he couldn't do that because he had to retire. Of course, he had to retire for so many years. He was here, uh, I think, 36 years here at Freeman School. He, this was his school. And so I share that information. He actually was involved in many other activities. For instance, uh, he uh, was a member of the Westside Business Club. Uh, he helped establish that, he helped found that. He also was very instrumental in the single and mild solar vision that to this day, we still have here in the lane, single and mild solar vision. I can go on and tell you a lot of things, but let me just, because it's a time, I can't stay here too long, I just want to say to you that we all remember Mr. Martin. And I want to tell you, you students, remember those good teachers that you have. You have outstanding teachers in your school. You have a high performing school here. Really, you are one of the best. So remember that. You have to be focused, you have to be motivated, and you have to have discipline. Those are the messages that Mr. Byer instilled on us. To do what we had to do, it didn't make any difference who we were. Some of us were, like I said, 6'5", or some of us 5'5". It didn't matter. The point is, you come to school every day, you do your work, Listen to your teacher and you study. That's the best important. And you do your homework. With that, let me introduce today at this point Mr. Frank Corral. He's a member of the Board of Trustees and also Mr. Michael Lennis. He's also the clerk of the board. We both would like to share a few comments to you. Thank you, Dr. Aguilar. 
I, I'm rather amazed to see this many people here. You know, it's astonishing, and it, it doesn't surprise me. I didn't know Mr. Byer personally very well. I met him a few times. But there's this old saying that says, the acorn doesn't fall far from the oak tree. And my relationship with the Byer family is with the oldest son, Stan Jr. And I can tell you that knowing the character of Stan Jr., it, he learned it from his father. And so I have a great deal of respect and admiration for him. There's a line from Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. It's altogether fitting that we should be here today to honor this man. I spent a long number of years as a teacher. It makes me proud to see us honor a special teacher in the building that I know, in my experience, and from what I've learned, was quite a citizen of this community. So it is a, it's a, something that we can all look and admire and, and try to do our best too. So I'm very honored to be here. Thank you for being here to honor this man. Thank you.